That's right, Morton's List. Be doing a uh, brief explanation and demonstration of Morton's List here. Totally live on Twitch. Randomly selected for right now. Green screen might fuck up a little bit, but whatever, here we go. Here's a demonstration, an explanation of Morton's List. This game is something totally unique. It's not like anything else that you've probably ever seen, unless you've seen Morton's List. This is now a completely rare and hard to find um, book pretty much. It's a, it's a game, but it's a book. They, they've stopped selling it on Amazon. The only way that you can get a hold of it is if you know somebody who's got a copy. So, needless to say, this is a underground game. It's something that you actually do in real life to end your boredom. As you can see, I, I'm on the uh, the Morton's List website here. A lot of the different links and such do not, they don't work anymore. But it still gives you the, the idea, the concept here. Their tagline is the end of boredom, because that is what you do. You end your boredom by playing this game. In the most essential form, this game is a quest. A random mission that you go out and do in real life and there is 360 different activities these quests contained in this book now every one of these as a whole represent any possible activity any possible thing you could do in in life it just gives you a broad concept and you go out and you do it it's totally sweet Fun as hell. I haven't played it in years myself, but I used to play the shit out of it. And uh, I'd like to share it with everybody. You know, whether you're watching it live right now on Twitch, or maybe you're gonna watch a video later on down the road. I just uh, would like to encourage people to explore this game, at least, you know, try to learn more about it, figure it out here. But like I said, in the most essential form, it's a game that you complete by going out in real life and you do stuff. So there's 360 different missions in this book. And it's all broken down into different subsections, categories. And those categories contain 30 different missions. There's 13 different tables of 30 missions. Adds up to 360 different quests. So basically, they're grouped in these categories. The first one being Solar Rise, it's stuff that you do in real life. The next one is Cosmic Law. And so it's all about things that have rules to them. And basically, you go out and you, you do this mission. Now, it's kind of hard to explain just being on their website here. So, I actually have my copy of Morton's List, my physical copy here. And I'd like to demonstrate how a quest is potentially done. Now, I'm not going to actually do this quest. This is just for, um, you know, example, for exhibit. And so, with that already being stated, I want it to be known that I'm not going to go out and do this. Basically, what you're doing is you're starting out by agreeing to play. Now, you can play by yourself, but it's always funner with more people, right? So, in some sort of fashion, everybody who's agreed to play needs to find a leader. Whether it be a roll-off, like it says right here on the, um, the Morton's List website. 
Number two, roll high for leader. So you could roll a dice and whoever has the highest number gets to stay in. That's a great way. Or you could simply have some sort of dance off, you know, whatever. In the most, again, the most essential form here, we're just trying to find somebody with the best karma, the best feelings, the best, you know, rolling the highest number. We're getting somebody great out there to represent us as a whole. Because everybody who's playing, they're called the inner circle. And the leader is called the table master. And basically he's the one, or she, is the one that's choosing the quest by randomly rolling a dice to determine what they're doing. So, after rolling the dice and getting the quest, the, the folks out there, they actually go do it, and they have a hell of a time. Because even if you get the same exact quest, quest over and over again, you're gonna go out and do something different each time. Because that's the, the great thing about this game, is that it just gives you an idea, you go out, you actually do it, you have fun with it. So I'd like to delve a little deeper in here. We're gonna turn on the Morton Bliss Cam. As you can see here, I just got a camera ghetto hooked up via fucking coat hanger to hold this shit up. And I got my book here, right? This is Morton's list. I put it in a fucking binder, dude. I took out each page, ripped this shit out, sacramentally and shit. Or sacrificially, something like that. Anyways, I'm preserving this shit, right? This is a great copy of it. Nowadays, you can't even find this stuff on the internet. There's like a used copy you might find out there for 100 bucks, 200 bucks, something like that. But they don't make it anymore. It's hard to find. This is the front fucking cover, dude. And it's hard to see, but it's got the nine, uh, the nine different symbols that represent the nine tables. And I think I said 13 because there's four other tables that are very difficult to get to. This is the nine prime. It's the easiest to get to. I'll get into that. Word. Morton's list. The end of boredom. Quite simply, a book, a dice, you're set, right? You don't even know yet. Here we go. I wanted to remind you here that this all is straight up having fun. None of this should be taken as a command. If you're not having fun, you don't have to play. You know, you're not out there to have a bad time. If it's going to instruct something you're going to take it as a good idea not as a command so very simply if you've got something against what we're doing here you don't have to do it man simple as that all right let's get into some elements of the game you might be able to see over here in said book um we have a quest all right, so like I was saying before, and I'm gonna stop saying that, but I was saying before, we have these different missions that we go out and actually do in this book. And we call them quests. There's 360 different quests that are contained within these pages. All right. Now, next are mutation and deviation. We do have a couple of different uh, mutating and factors here that can change the way the game is played basically it could be telling us to have a little mini rule within the game good example for instance is if uh, a mutation might be that everybody who's playing has to talk in a funny accent had that one it was great hilarious and so you get to walk around or whatever the mission entails and you go out and do it in real life while saying an accent that's just an example. I mean, there's tons of shit in here. Uh, a deviation is, um, yeah, that's the one that has like a little mini rule. I know the mutation is that the kind of like having an extra rule to the 
the quest. The deviation is like, it basically, you have a whole another objective. So a, a deviation would be having to complete a mission. Basically, there's ways to change the game up. So we've got our table master. And that's the person that's actually leading the group. Chosen by some sort of random um, election or the best karmic dice rolling. You know, you can have a dance off. Have yourself a leader out of your group of friends playing. And this leader is going to be working for the, the inner circle. That's everybody that's playing. All right. We're all coming together to have a great time. So with said book, Morton's List, and this 30-sided dice called a Morton Boulder, we're going to have some fun here. All right. The game is all based on karma. All right. When you're high in energy, whenever you're having a lot of fun, whenever you're hyped, you know, you, you have a good time. You can lead yourself to a good time. Just like in the same fashion, in the same manner, if you're bummed out, if you're not having a good time, it's going to bum everybody out. Right? So it's all about karma. Whenever we choose whoever's randomly uh, going to lead the group here, based on their karma, you know? If you keep rolling fucking 30s on this, dog, hell yeah, we're gonna have you leave the group. If you keep winning in roll-offs, you you're rolling the highest numbers, man. We wanna get that. High numbers are always great. You know, rolling a 13 is never a good thing. It's just how it is. All right. Break it down. Order of play, summarized, all right? Again, here we go. Everybody agrees to play. They're called the inner circle. Whoever is determined to lead the group, we're gonna be called the table master. We're rolling on Morton's list. That's this game right here. That's the first page that we start out on. It's actually Morton's list. And uh, after we get some sort of mission, we're gonna talk about it. It's called the winds of change. We're going to determine exactly how it's going to be accomplished, by what means, and what we're going to do. About having fun. All right. We go out and do the actual quest. And then after we've devoted at least one hour of some solid effort, we're going to call in, in time. And that's basically saying, quest is over. You know, we accomplished it. Whether we failed or or succeeded you still put forth that effort because you can't go in here and say oh yeah let's just go ahead and do this one real quick knock this quest out it's super easy five minutes and then go do something else it's not the way this game rolls if you try to manipulate the game you don't have good karma you're not gonna have fun all right Let's get into uh, an example of Morton's List now. Morton's List. We're going to roll this 30-sided dice, and whatever number it lands on, we're going to go to the corresponding page and go from there, all right? Now, needless to say, I'm not going to be actually doing this. This is just for test purposes. I want to demonstrate the game to people. So we've got these different sections, these different categories, and they basically determine what the quest is going to be. If there's something on here that we can't do, for instance, right now it's currently nighttime. If it was daytime out, it would be different, right? But in the nighttime, I can't go out to... I don't know, a public swimming pool, it's, just, it's not open. So if it says something like that, can't do it, right? And there we go. If I can't do that, I will re-roll at that point. Oh shit. 
All right, I rolled a 28. This is some very special number. Even though it's not quite 30, it's still a real high number. It's really good, all right? 28 is Pandora's box, page 14. One page over. Well, bam, right? So with Pandora's box, it, let me just uh, describe it here, all right? It says, the Pandora's box of Greek legend unleashed a plague of, <laughs> plague, a plague of horrors, including disease, famine, and he who cannot be named. The Morton's List version of Pandora's box unleashes a multitude of, a multitude of unexpected and exciting possibilities, not bad stuff. It combines the effects of rolling mutations, deviations, and gateway. First the Table Master rolls on mutations, and then on deviations, and then the Table Master goes to the Echo list and rolls three separate quests to be chose from. This is great for explaining how Morton's List is going to be played. You see, this is exactly what Morton's List is all about. I'm hyped about explaining the game to these, this video, you know, potentially a lot of people online. If I get this video out and show people how fun Morton's List is. And I've already got the spirit of fucking karma right here. Morton's List saying, hell yeah, let's show people Pandora's box. Like, you know, have them whip it out. Jesus Christ. All right. So we're going to first go to mutations on page 239 and then deviations on 245. And we're going to show you exactly how crazy this game could be. So on page 239... We have the mutations mother effing table. Again, it has 30 different results corresponding with this 30 sided dice. Whatever number I roll on here is the mutation I go to. So, uh, just a quick note a mutation is rolled and the description is read, um, and then the table master continues rolling on for the quest. So, again, this is not the quest. This is just something to hype up the quest, to change it a little bit. Um, so, in that note, here we go. Alright, roll a 14. That's pretty goddamn close to 13, man. You gotta be careful. Alright, rolling a 14, alter reality. Let's go over here to page 242. Oh, shit. This is awesome. Okay, um, alter reality... The cat has left the bag and is headed straight for the fan. The inner circle will soon be experiencing a twisted version of the reality they once knew. Here, each group member rolls the Morton Boulder and consults the following table of 30 options to determine their individual reality warping effect. This is the shit, especially when you have a lot of different people because everybody's going to have some sort of different effect. And, um, you know, let me just kind of read off a couple of uh, different ones here number two is move very quickly so if you walk around some somebody has to just kind of like jitter around and shit you know um, randomly vary the volume is speaking it's number nine number 15 never sit down number 18 don't use fingers for anything Number 21, try to engage everyone met in conversation. So again, this is just something that you would do while everybody is completing the quest, once that's determined. Here we go. I am rolling on the alter, alter reality table of 30 different results. And so, for example, I would have number three. Temporarily deprive everyone of one sense. That's the shit. I would actually get to choose everybody who's playing... I'd get to choose one sense that they, they can't use anymore. So, I would think of that as being like, in the middle of the quest, I could say, alright, hey you, you can't, you can't look anymore, you're going to close your eyes. I don't think it would be something necessarily that would go for the full length of the quest, but it could, determining on just kind of how everybody takes it and what they think about it but it says temporarily so you can you can figure it out all right everybody that's playing for a moment of five minutes at that set point in time I can take any sense of yours away that you can no longer feel or you can no longer hear or you know I don't know you'd have to have earmuffs or 
some sort of goggles or something so they can't see. Something to cover the nose so they can't smell. It can get really interesting. That's pretty sweet. So that would be my mutation. I would actually be able to take away somebody's sense of some sort. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Rolling on deviations. And so again, this is another way of changing the game up a little bit. All right, number one, mitosis. After the quest is determined, but before winds of change, the inner circle splits into two groups. How they decide to do this is up to them. As long as they have two groups are relatively equal. The subgroup, <clears throat> the subgroup without the table master, then rolls off to determine the new table master for that group. Groups of two or less do not need a new uh, need a table master. So it's only if you have a group of three. So. The split causes each group to perform the quest separately. Before beginning, the two groups determine a time and a location where they will meet to share their experiences. Once this is established, both groups find separate locations and continue their quests. Picking at wins a change. And yeah. So that's pretty sweet. Basically, everybody that's playing is split into a group two. Not a group two, but two groups. Now, obviously, if I was playing by myself, I don't know, I would either take this as, alright, I don't get a deviation, I'm not going to be able to split in half myself, right? Or possibly re-roll the deviation, try to get another one. This is not one that you can do by yourself. But it is awesome. <clears throat> if you were playing in a group of four or more, it's definitely more enhanced. If you're playing with uh, two or three people, that's still... Two separate versions of the same quest. So it's going to be experienced differently. And you talk about it, having a fun time. Alright, so after all of that, we would actually continue on to the Echo List. The Echo List is pretty much the same as Morton's List, but it doesn't have mutations and deviations on it, it's just quests. And it also has the potential for getting into some of the craziest shit there is. Alright, so keep in mind, we have the mutation where <clears throat> I would be able to take any um, sense away from somebody while we were playing. And I also we also have the deviation of the group splitting in half. So we can go half over here and uh, the other half go do the same quest over there. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to roll three separate quests, and we're going to determine what exactly would be the best one to do. It's great. We actually get the choice of three separate quests. This hardly ever happens. Ooh, number one, Solar Rise. So these are quests that largely do with daytime. Now, in the daytime, you can do, I don't know, hit the beach, um, hole in one, go play some golf or whatever, right? It's nighttime here, so I'm not really going to be able to do any of these. But for the sake of gateway, the sake of rolling three separate quests, this is a great demonstration of something you could actually be doing in real life. All right, rolling on Solar Rise, I got number two, community recreation. So with the quest here, we have kind of an introductory, given a colorful idea of what community recreation could be. We have a nutshell sentence that breaks it down into one sentence of what we really actually got to go out and do. And it also does have some other ideas in here. Some other uh, text here that helps out with the winds of change process. The winds of change process, of course, is determining exactly what you're doing. Now, community recreation, in the nutshell sentence here, it says it brings the inner circle to a recreation or community center. So. Again, inner circle is everybody that's playing, so basically we would go out into a rec center. Go out to some sort of community center. You can still do that at nighttime shit. Go to a park at the nighttime and fucking yeah. Go shoot some hoops at midnight. Why not? Fuck solar eyes. You can do it in the day in the nighttime. You don't have to be day. Right? 
you gotta be creative with it. Now, I think you know, a rec center, that is kind of more specific to something indoor, it has to be open. So maybe that's not possible at night. But if you can think about it, you can agree to it, then you can do it, you're having fun. All right, here's Echo List. Again, we're rolling a second quest for demonstration. Ooh, shit, 29. Window of Dreams. Right here on page 16. As per Window of Dreams on page 14. However, if a 13 is rolled or picked, the Table Master must return to the Echo List. Alright, so Window of Dreams is essentially you get to choose any of the nine prime tables to choose to roll on with an automatic dimension window or window. Okay, so I'm going to be able to choose any one of these. It's nighttime. We just saw Solar Rise. That was daytime quest. So let's go to Nightscape. Now these are night quests, all right? Page 217. Yeah, so, okay. I rolled a 29. That gave me the ability to choose whatever table I want to roll on. So I'm choosing the, the night one. We're going to see what a nighttime quest would look like. Just kind of want to clarify that. Alright, so here we are on Nightscape. So Nightscape contains 30 different quests of stuff that you would generally do at night. As opposed to Solar Rise, which we were on all daytime shit. Here we go. Rolling on Nightscape number two. Come on over. So come on over, beckons the inner circle to contact known would-be romantic interests, invite them to uh, invite them over to socialize. So I mean that's pretty straightforward. You gotta get some sort of hookup going on. I would even go as far as saying that, you know, if you don't have anybody in mind, this would potentially be the calling to go try to find somebody you know what I'm saying online dating or what have you you know anyways come on over I would even have to say that you would need to say that statement when you're talking to them preferably on the phone to try to mention the phrase come on over right that's the whole idea. But, to, you know, again, if you're playing with a group of people, you're trying to get, you know, this, uh, this chick over or whatever. What's up, Sergeant Felix? I was thinking about playing GTA tonight, man. I'm just demonstrating Morton's list here. So, we've rolled a couple of quests here, and it kind of demonstrates what Morton's list is about. I'm going to roll one last example. We're going to see what that potentially could be. Now, it's an actual event you go out and do a mission in real life so here we go rolling on echo list we got paid here we got mountain number 18 it says page 137 this is a great example of uh, what you're physically doing because this is mountain mountain table is all about stuff that you go do in real life that is physically exerting yourself all right so it's any sort of sport climbing or whatever you can see this badass picture of this mountain climber here we go rolling on mountain we've got 30 different things that we could be doing here Ooh, number five opposed force so we're going to page 141 Opposed force pulls the inner circle into a world of arm wrestling, tug of war, and any pitting of strength against strength. So this is something very exciting if you're playing with a group of people. I don't think I can actually do like a thumb war against myself, you know. But if 
fucking crazy enough, I guess you could arm wrestle yourself. I don't know. It's definitely a social game. It's bringing people together. While playing Morton's List, I personally have grown. I've um, really seen change in myself because it, it makes you go out and you, you do something fun in real life. And with this game, I've gained so much like confidence, you know, just going out and talking to random people. Uh, humility, you know, or um, just having fun, I guess. So, this is a very difficult game to come by. They don't sell it anymore. It's rare. But I could be potentially sharing this game with people online. You know, we could get a online group, group going on. You know what I'm saying? We call them a... Uh, inner circle a group of people who play Morton's List to enhance their own lives for the better and have fun don't get me wrong I love video games Twitch is amazing but this is some life changing events I don't think about you know whenever I played Grand Theft Auto or whatever one specific day when I had so much fun playing that one game if anything I'm thinking about that game as a whole right how much fun I had with that game all together with with Morton's list you break it down to each individual memory each individual quest We're having fun here this is great memories So, you know, if maybe by popular demand, I might be able to um, do some sort of online quest rolling with group with a group of, of people. But it's going to have to be really sincere because this game demands, you know, you, your attention. If you're not paying attention, you're not have, trying to have fun, you're not going to have fun. And, um, you know, again, it's all about karma. We're out there having fun. So, I don't know, people. Hit me up. Jump Fresh on Twitch. Let's bring Morton's List back, man. It's not around very much anymore. This is their website. Like, shit don't even work. They used to have an online version where you could play this game. Now it goes to some other shit. Like, it's not even, it's not even hooked up right. Some spam and shit. They haven't. They haven't made any sort of comment on the the um, the forum here in a couple of years. Years, man. You go to buy the game on Amazon.com. They don't even sell it anymore. They stopped selling it. You can find a used copy on there, but for right now, it's saying that it's selling for 150 bucks. When originally this was like thirty dollar game, it's fucking epic. Morton's list, man. Let's bring it back. If you're interested, hit me up. Let's roll a quest. Jump fresh on Twitch. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Twitter. I'm on the Facebook. Get even read it. Hit me up. Peace.